Hi guys, it's Jackie, Compulsive Gambler and so, so, so much more. Um, welcome to this lovely background, right? I know, I'm so grateful for that. I have a few mosquito bites here and there, so, you know, if you see me itching a little bit or scratching a little bit, that's what's up. <laughs> so, update, I am at day 15. I am loving it. I am loving not feeling these triggers that were pretty much a day-to-day -day thing for me and you know maybe it's just the change in environment whatever it is I love it and if you are in a good place yourself you know be thankful for that so today's video is gonna be I decided that when I say short video is going to be under seven minutes so if you have seven minutes and you want to chill with me let's go so I am going to just say something that is very simple and something that everybody probably already has. Get yourself a notebook. This is mine. I have no feelings in regards to monarchies. Oh, I do, but nothing that I'm going to voice. <laughs> that was just a random book that was at the, the grocery store and I picked it up and this notebook, it has saved me. These past few days, I do not know what I would have done if I did not have that. You guys who know about my healing journey, um, I am up and down and I am human and whatever, but I have also overestimated my capabilities in reta retaining facts, information, having a ledger, you know, and a recording and an account of my feelings instead you know like i might feel something one day and then you know like for us addicts maybe i might have a drink maybe i might have a joint maybe i might you know be distracted by a, a beautiful man i don't know but those feelings they can change like that and so the next day if i have to make any decisions in regards to what I have just experienced I go by how I feel you know like just just for now because of another impulsive decision that I made and that, that is not so great for my growth so having a notebook it really allows you to see things for what it is and that is a scary thing because when I see things for what they really are, then it's kind of like, well, you know, you don't really have a choice but to make that decision or to, to actually do something about it. Because, hey, you see it, you yourself, you have gone through the entire process of first retaining something, writing it, and processing it all at the same time you are performing this process so it's like three in one it is really good accounting for your brain and for us addicts well I'm, i mean we tend to be impulsive we tend to go based by our feelings or rejections whatever it might be and <clears throat> those are not always the most logical solutions and I think also we burden, we burden ourselves so much more with this influx of feelings and emotions constantly that we feel like we are just consumed by it and this is who we are and when we try to, you know, like go to sleep at night, you know, the wheels are just turning and it's just so much, so much, so much and, you know, anybody would just become drained and confused so that is my tip. Just get yourself a notebook, any kind of notebook, whatever it is, something small, something that you could have with you. You know, most of the time, if it could fit in your back pocket, do that. Something easily accessible. Hopefully nobody in your household uh, decides to invade that privacy, but it is something for you. You could write in your fucking code if you have code, but it does help it does alleviate the extra burden of recovering and healing while maybe dealing with a very stressful situation at hand. 
you know it is a good uh, means of venting and it is a reminder so i'll just give a quick example so you know i'm me me starting to like really journal and and take account and record of what is going in, on in my life i've also started writing what i want from the future and not like the far future but you know for example situations i do not want to speak about certain topics because i feel like those topics are triggers for me so i've been writing down what situations i feel are difficult and i know that i do not want those situations there i have made that decision i'm not going to be in those situations or about people that I want in my life, how I want to feel. So I know if I want to feel this certain way, then I am not going to associate myself with people who make me feel the opposite of what I want. And it doesn't mean that that person is a bad person. It just means that it is not for me. So sometimes when we don't want to make the decision for ourselves, it's a good way to just connect the dots, go back, see it, you know, black and white, this is what's going on you know make that informed decision so yeah it's just a, a little tip you already know it and for your first entry please write thank you for doing this i love you you guys are all special and loved and i'm praying for you and rooting for you and your recovery and your healing journey so yeah let's see it is six minutes 40 seconds we're doing good all right so i'm gonna say bye now and everybody have a blessed day okay bye <laughs>